Hey guys, hi, this is Rakesh here and I'm from ITVST, a free open online university festival for students and for professionals. We cover a vast area of technology from Oracle to Big Data and uh, uh, Amazon Web Services, R, Cassandra, NoSQL databases. Uh, guys, I'm getting lots of requests uh, from people to cover a simple crash, crash course for uh, uh, Spark, uh, a Scala crash course for Spark. As we know that uh, Spark, uh, I already have uh, shared one particular uh, playlist in which I explain what uh, Spark is. So there have been many, uh, lots of confusion that for Spark, how do we start? Do we need to have uh, a knowledge of Java? Do we need to have knowledge of Spark or Python? So guys, Spark comes with, uh, so for Spark, you need not to worry about the languages. You can go through, you can, uh, you can, if you are good with Java, you can go ahead. If you are good with Scala or uh, Python and with R also has, has been recently included into the stack. So these are the different uh, languages through which you can access uh, Scala or access Spark. But uh, Spark is uh, uh, the best language I consider for uh, Spark is definitely Scala due to its uh, uh, different uh, uh, due to its different uh, um, uh, features which it provides so guys I'm uh, taking a crash course a Scala crash course for spark users so in which I'll probably explain what Scala is and now what level of Scala do you need to understand uh, do you need to go, uh, start programming in spark so you need not to worry about too much about uh, okay uh, how so um, when I started um, uh, reading Spark so there was a confusion in my mind that uh, up to which point do I need to uh, stop myself in Scala so guys I I have a I have noted those points and uh, I hope uh, this particular page will help you in understanding uh, Scala and then Spark in a bigger uh, perspective. So, so I think uh, mm. so guys, Scala stands for Scalable Language. So you can see that uh, Scala, sorry, which is a blend of uh, object-oriented and functional programming concepts. So guys. Uh, these nowadays programming languages are turning towards for functional paradigm earlier we had we had that object oriented in which we had uh, polymorphism and poops concepts which were all of inheritance abstraction encapsulation and other stuff but nowadays uh, people are moving towards functional programming that is what that is one of the main reason that why java 8 has also introduced many good features which are already there in scala like uh, it has predicates, functions, which are already there in Scala. So uh, Scala is nothing but a blend of object oriented and a functional programming language. It looks like a dynamic language like Python, but it is not. You can compile it and it will be compiled into a JVM. Um, uh, um, it will be compiled onto the JVM and the bytecode can be used along with Java libraries. Guys, Scala is uh, Spark Shell is a Scala command line. We know that, and um, which is a, a Spark API. Simple. So to run uh, to execute simple Scala examples, so uh, we need to uh, have that uh, proper knowledge of what actually Spark Shell, how it actually looks like, or uh, how actually Scala shell, uh, shell looks like. So you need not to do anything. I hope that um, I have covered how to install Scala in one of my video, uh, previous video. Uh, what I'll request is you should go through this video uh, in which it explains yeah. how one can set up uh, Scala or how, how one can install Scala. Guys, okay. What I'll do is I'll uh, simply uh, Scala download so if you'll go to this 
Guys, always remember the version you are using. For me, I'm using the latest version, 11.2.11.7. So once you click this, uh, .msi file will be installed. Will be starting downloading onto your system, and uh, you need to press. Um, you need to double click that .msi file, and Scala will be installed. Apart that, you for Scala, what you need to do is. You need to check the environment variables and for that I think yeah here is my Scala which is installed and I have mentioned Scala home here so this actually helps me um, in lots of ways okay I have installed SBT as well which is I don't know what actually it stands for simple build tool or something like that so you need once you have everything set then go to command prompt and I'm there and now if you can see that I just need to type Scala and Scala will be installed so that's it uh, oh, Scala, uh, uh, Scala uh, uh, command line uh, interface will come onto this uh, command prompt so now you can see that uh, Scala uh, the version is 2.11.7 uh, let me show you what type of MSI file will be downloaded. So this is Scala 2.11.7 and SPT as well. So you need to do this double click and uh, and then next, next, next. I already have Scala, so I need not to do any setup again. So I'll just cancel it out. So guys, once you have Scala, uh, or once you have this uh, 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 Scala uh, prompt uh, shell, uh, which is coming on to your uh, command prompt, what you can do is you can type variable test is equal to 1 okay so how it has decided that it is an integer or or long or if I'll say variable test is equal to 1.4 so guys, have you seen this like um, in here I need I haven't uh, specified any data type but it has somehow identified uh, what data type uh, it actually is so that is a benefit of uh, that is a best benefit I'll say of Scala that uh, one needs not to depend upon the data type and so these are the certain things which Scala has uh, fe good features over Java and other languages so guys I'm ending this video as of now and uh, in the next video I'll um, explain few features which I just have introduced like type inter inference and uh, other features which are used in which are mostly used in spark programming so guys I'm again telling you that I'm not explaining the whole spark whole Scala language but it is just a small crash course uh, how one can get used to uh, small uh, things in Scala and uh, it will be beneficial for him in Spark as well. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. I hope you, are, you have subscribed our channel, ITVersity. Uh, if not, kindly subscribe. Give good comments which or bad comments or whatever. Uh, and everything is welcomed here and we try to uh, improve our quality and we'll try to address your problems uh, as much as we can thank you guys thank you very much